Hi, and welcome to the speedrun edition of the Twilight's Promise quest. Be sure that you meet all requirements and then head east of Verak. Right, let's talk to Regular Sento and select option 1 to get to Varlamore. After we've arrived, let's head a bit west to find the Talos Twins. That is a quest start of the Twilight's Promise quest. Let's talk to them and select option 1. After speaking to them, we will need to head south. South, passing the bazaar. Going through the bazaar. And then just southeast of the bazaar, they should find a altar sign. Go towards it and they should find Medley. Metzley? Metzley. Let's talk to Medley and select option 1. After you selected option 1, then you're able to go downstairs just a bit west. Because now the gate is unlocked. Go open the gate just a bit north. Then go to the center of this room and talk to the prince. And after this conversation is over, we will need to head back to the twins. Alright, let's resurface and then run north, north of the bazaar and north into the palace. That is a new location of the two Talos twins. The Talos Twins are gonna give us a Volamore Crest, which we're gonna need to round up six guards at four different locations. Keep pressing space until you have that item. Once you have it, let's return south back to the bazaar. In the center of the bazaar, there should find two knights. Keep pressing space until the conversation is over. And while pressing space, look in the northeastern corner and try to find a citizen that has blue clothes on. After the conversation is over, right click and pickpocket to get a stolen amulet. Return this to the two knights in the center and after the amulet is gone, let's head south and exit the city. After we've exited the city, follow the dirt path east until you see a pub. From there, you should find two more guards. But one of them is really drunk and we will need to carry him to a fountain. And they will need to follow us to a fountain, but he's getting quite distracted. Now there is a simple way how to do this. First, let's talk to the two guards in the pub until the drunk guard is following you. Once he does, run east and keep pressing the call follower button. So he doesn't get distracted and also doesn't get stuck somewhere. Keep calling the follower button and when it is standing next to the fountain, there will be a cutscene. After the cutscene is over, be sure to talk to the knight and then head north back into the city. Next, continue running north into the, I don't know how it's called, some kind of port. Go to the southwestern corner to the next night. Keep pressing space. And after this conversation is over, head east, northeast to the northeastern part of this area. And there, between two barrels of fish next to a bench, there we will find the smuggled goods that he was after. So, next to the bench, between the two fishing barrels, click space, and then return to the night. Mm -hmm. 
after we've returned to this night, we will need to head over east to the Colosseum. Which is the final location of the final night. And that night we will need to defeat. But it has 100 hit points and every 4 hits you deal, it will change protection prayers. So be sure that you have two combat styles and then talk to the guard and select option one. The guard is only combat 81, he doesn't really deal damage damage, just be sure that you bring two combat styles with correct bolts and such. Last time I brought a rune crossbow with dragon bolts and that didn't really work too well for me. Either defeat the guard in four hits or change combat styles. There we go. After, <clears throat> after this knight is defeated, it will also return to the palace. Let's skip through the dialogue and then head to the palace back to the twins. I think the fastest way would be to go back to the port, the Holthen. And then exit using the western exit next to the charter crew members and keep going west until you've returned to the palace. Return to the twins and they will take your Volamor crest. And next we will need to find some evidence to incriminate one out of six uh, knights. So let's talk to the twins and after the crest is gone, let's head back south and then follow the path going west, west of the smithing sign and weapon store sign. Let's enter that big building and go to the northwestern corner, climb upstairs, afterwards go east and climb another set of stairs. From there, go south and enter the quarters. Enter the southeastern quarter and search the southern chest. There you'll find a letter. Take it, then go back downstairs, read it on your way and go back to the twins. After we've returned to the twins, there will be a cutscene of one of the guards getting executed. Alright, without a trial and without questioning, skip through the conversation and then after this conversation is over, head back south and return to the Green Bird where we've landed from Varrock. Let's talk to Reglacento and select option 2. Until we get some feet. Once we have this, use this on the Eastern Bird on Renu and then we see a transportation UI click on the most northwestern one the northwestern mountains to go to Teomat north of perilous moons afterwards head east into the temple and there will find the prince again let's talk to him And then get ready to head north into the library after this conversation is over to talk to Metzli. After we've spoken to Metzli, there will be yet another cutscene and where we'll need to fight eight cultists of combat 34. So talk to Metzli and prepare to fight the combat 34th 
8 times. Defeat all combat 34 cultists to start the final cutscene and complete this quest. Be sure to use your best offensive prayers as there is an altar after this cutscene really close by. So no need to save on your precious prayer points. Wow, they're very tanky. Damn, dude. Okay, okay, thank you. I forgot my teleport to Fortis to start the Palace Moon's quest. God damn it.